Hello, Earthlings. I'm Deb Helfrich, www.insightsoccur.com, and this is my redheaded she hulk origin story. The reason we're going to go into this today is I am seeking a producing partner and some seed investment stat. You won't like me when I'm angry. Now, let me frame this because there are many versions of the Incredible Hulk. And I'm specifically referencing the 1970s series with the incredible Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrino. Now, if you remember, he was a mild-mannered neuroscientist. I've been a Zen philosopher. But both of us, in different ways, encountered gammas that changed our lives. Now, you know the story. You can go on YouTube and watch a little bit of that series. But in my own life, it was a toxic mold exposure that took away my 40s. I've been suffering from chronic disease for a very long time. An invisible illness, multiple chemical sensitivity, intertwined with things like chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't know I had all those things, apart from being exposed to mold, because I suffered from lifelong obesity. I was the largest person in every room I was in since I was a toddler. Somehow, some way, using brain power, philosophy, I discovered how to evaporate 150 pounds in the 15 months after turning 50 by not changing what I ate. Now, I somehow have discovered in my midlife metamorphosis that there was a performer, a one-woman show, locked deep within. Now, I have a lot to say because I developed a theory of everything. Yep, that's what philosophers do. We think a lot. And the sort of Nobel Prize of philosophy is this concept of shouldn't everything make sense? Well, it does. It takes a long time to fill in all the context so you can come along with me. But again, I demonstrated being a 51-year-old woman who is now fitter, both mentally and physically, than she ever was when she was a teenager. So, I have a great and astounding story to tell. And I need some help because you're quite aware that there's a pandemic going on and everyone's suffering from time poverty. As someone who cobbled together the ability in the gig economy for a whole decade, these last months, absolutely nothing has happened except thousands of no's. 10,000, like, never hearing from people's. Let's fix this world. We are all together in a very serious state. I have ways to talk about it that I truly believe bring us all together. That starts with the fact that black lives are necessary. And we go from there, explaining, busting paradigms, and understanding how to make life-centric decisions. I've created an entirely new branch of philosophy. Hashtag well-being philosophy. Google that, and you'll find a great deal more content that has been utterly ignored. Because in the world that we live in, 
people are used to being advertised to. They're not used to using our precious thinking equipment in complex ways. I've developed an entire repertoire of heuristics that help people use life-centric thinking. In order to get attention, to bring people into ways to upgrade our civilization across the globe, considering decisions about what helps people in Africa, just as we try to help ourselves. Become that person who can get that attention as a philosopher. I developed the redheaded she-hog persona so I can get out some of this angst and anger, frustration over the ever escalating chronic disease burden that our toxic contemporary society, climate change, tech overload, polluted air. Look, excess carbon is not just a problem way out in the atmosphere. We all have personal atmospheres. We know when we're hungry, we know when we're thirsty. Wouldn't it be kind of crazy if our body didn't have a mechanism to evaluate the quality of the air we're going to be breathing in the next 90 seconds? Turns out our body is very capable of assessing when there's excess carbon in our near and environment. I've thrown a great deal at you in these quick few minutes. This is what I'm asking you to invest in. Helping me find a producing partner who can containerize all of this wonderful, fun, fantastic story into content that inspires, motivates, helps people understand the power of our thinking power, thinking equipment, because virus has shown us that we all are responsible for our own health and I understand how to upgrade the concept of placebo effect into a wide range of placebo tools. Now Bill Bixby, Bruce Banner, his hawkishness was the unfortunate outcome of gamma radiation. My midlife metamorphosis from a polar bear body into a giraffe at 51 is the story of gamma brainwaves. You're lucky if you get to listen to this because I have given away the whole queendom. I know it's all just a little bit too integrative for anyone to really make billion dollar industries the way I see that we can with the placebo tools concept. So consider yourself lucky to get to see this at this stage. Consider yourself one of my crucial early supporters. If you've got some spare money, go to www.insightsoccur.com slash help. If you would like to work with me, check me out on LinkedIn. See what I'm up to. And then reach out because we have a world in need of being entertained while we figure out how to deal with the chaos, how we figure out how to create content that spreads life-centric decision-making using the principles of evolutionary logic. Hashtag well-being philosophy. I'm tired of being ignored. I'm tired of a world where 95% of humans live lives of quiet desperation even as they've been bullied to say, this is my purpose, I'm all happy, happy, happy. Human beings are born to be creative. 
And only because I lived to turn 50 did I get to understand that truth. Now I'm asking for your assistance to support me so that I can find a home and I can do this in a way that helps people understand that there is hope, that there are ways to save every single one of the 7.8 billion humans across the entire surface of the terrestrial earth who deserve lives with clean water, clean air, adequate nutrition, shelter, and the capacity to strive for right livelihood, having jobs that pay them livable wages. All right, that's the whole queendom and a real world, world, whirlwind tour. Yeah, I want to do a world world tour. No, I'm not as good as Fife or Q-Tip, but I'm gonna get there. I'm a lot better than Rita Wilson. Go check me out on YouTube. I've done a white lady rap challenge. Anyway. That's been quite a lot. Imagine what happens when Dave Chappelle shares the stage with me. All right, y'all. Peace, harmony, and here's to the life-centric civilization we all truly deserve. Deb Halfrich, www.insightsoccur.com. You are.